basics. Today we are exploring all the basic settings you need to start 3D printing with no hassle. If you are new here, don't worry. I will guide you on a step-by-step -step to ensure your print will be a success from the beginning. Let's talk about everything a beginner needs to know to be successful in 3D printing. From choosing the material to software settings. First, let's choose the filament. For beginners, the best choice is the PLA. It's easier to use, there's a wide range of colors available and there are no special environment conditions to print. It works on every occasion, almost like printing upside down. Just kidding, but... True. Now let's set your printer. One of the main steps to assuring the build plate is leveled. This is crucial to avoid printing failure. If you have a newer printer, such as bamboo ones, that calibrate the first layer automatically, great. But if you have a printer like an Ender 3, you need to know that the first layer is the most important. Be sure to level your build plate manually and tighten up your pulleys. And if you need help, comment down below so I can know if I should make a video about that. Another important step is the Z offset, which determines the distance between the nozzle and the build plate. In manual printers, you can do that with a sheet of paper and on automatic one, this is done automatically. Automatically. Another tip most people forget about is before you start, clean your build plate with alcohol to remove any greasy residue from your hands. Now let's get to the slicer software. For your first print, I recommend using a 0.2 millimeters layer height. Three walls, six layers for top, four layers for bottom, and 5% infill with the gyroid pattern. These settings are ideal to guarantee great prints from the start. These are basic specifications. I printed a new version with two walls and 0% infill to show how brittle it turns out. STL Flix subscribers have access to a PDF with specific settings and video how to slice each model. Yeah, mm -hmm. making the process even easier. If you found these tips useful, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you won't miss our next videos. You can leave suggestions or questions in the comments, I'm here to help you. With those settings, you are ready to start printing and with our huge STL library, you never be out of files to print. And if you are still unsure, with STL Academy, you can step your print skills game by taking our classes the print like a pro method from zero to revenue and from zero to 3d design so that's it guys see you next video and boo boo